This is a North Star School production. The concept presented in this video aligns with the North Star School's curriculum framework. Hello learners. In this series of episodes, we will learn and explore the world of plants. This topic is a part of the domain Knowledge Acquisition and Cognitive Development at the North Star School. Hello, my name is Polly and I am a honeybee. I live in a beehive in a meadow not too far from here. Your teacher asked me to come here today to tell you more about flowers, my favorite part of plants. As you have learned, flowers contain seeds and seeds can grow into new plants. I am delighted to come and tell you about flowers because flowers are one of my favorite things in the whole world. The meadow near my beehive is full of all different kinds of flowers that come in many different colors. Earlier today, I visited a particularly delicious yellow flower. Come along and I'll show it to you. Here's the flower I was telling you about. Do you see this ring of bright yellow parts around the flower? Those are called petals. The petals look like brightly colored leaves. The petals are the parts of a flower that grab my attention when I'm out buzzing around. Once I see a pretty flower, my favorite thing to do is crawl inside the petals into the center of the flower. What's it like to crawl inside a flower like this? Imagine for a minute that you are crawling under the bright yellow blankets of a very comfortable bed. Bright yellow is all around you. Now imagine that you stay under the blankets drinking the world's tastiest drink through a straw. You are so happy that you wriggle around and get covered with a yellow powder that smells great and feels good against your skin. That's what it's like for me when I visit a flower. As far as I'm concerned, the world's tastiest drink is called nectar, which is a sweet juice that plants make and the yellow powder that I like to rub against is called pollen. I find both nectar and pollen inside flowers and frankly, I'm not sure which one I like better. I visit more than 50 flowers in one outing, sometimes as many as a hundred. I visit these flowers because we bees get our food from flowers. My job is to fly around and find nectar and pollen, which I gather up and take back to my hive. I have a special pouch inside my body that holds nectar and there are special hairs on my back legs that form a little basket that I brush pollen into. When it's time to go back to my hive, sometimes my load of pollen and nectar weighs half as much as I do. When I get back to the hive, I turn the nectar and pollen over to the worker bees in the hive. They mix the pollen with a little bit of nectar and feed it to the baby bees. Then they fan the rest of nectar with their wings until most of the water is gone. Nectar with most of the water gone turns into something that both bees and people love. Nectar with most of the water removed is called honey. Here's the honey in my hive. People use honey to sweeten their food, but we bees use honey for food. We keep it in a bunch of little cubbies that we call the honeycomb. I visit flowers to get food and that's reason enough for me. But it turns out that I'm also doing something else besides finding food for myself and other bees. I am helping the plants reproduce or to make more plants. In order to make a seed that can develop into a new plant, most plants need to mix pollen from their flowers with pollen from other plants that are like them. For example, a corn plant needs pollen from another corn plant to allow it to make seeds. When pollen from one corn plant lands on another corn plant, something called pollination takes place. Pollination is really important because if it doesn't happen, the plant won't be able to make any seeds. If there are no seeds, then there will be no new plants. How do plants get pollen from other plants? Plants can't walk around like human beings and they can't flap their wings and fly like us bees either. Luckily, the pollen grains themselves are very small. They can be blown from one plant to another by the wind. So the wind helps pollinate plants so they can make new plants. 
but bees like me also help pollinate plants. How do my trips from one plant to another help pollinate plants? When I visit a flower and roll around inside, I pick up a lot of pollen. When I fly to the next flower, I carry some pollen from other flowers with me and some of it rubs off onto the next flower I visit. That's why I am an excellent pollinator of plants and that is why they call me Polly the Pollinator. I don't like to brag, but we bees are the most important pollinators in the world. Oh sure, the wind helps pollinate and some other insects also carry grains of pollen from one plant to another as they feed. Butterflies do it. So do moths, beetles and wasps. Some birds like hummingbirds are also good pollinators. Bats are good pollinators too. But no other creature pollinates as many flowers as bees do. I hope you enjoyed learning about plants. Thank you.